All right, so I want to show you how to accept an invitation to your team's Google Plus community. Um, so I'm here at the Google homepage, and there's actually several ways to find the invitation that I'll be sending you to your team community. Um, one thing I want to mention here is that at this point, you'll want to have added me to one of your circles. So let me just show you that really quickly. I'm going to go to Google Plus. I'm clicking Plus John. And up here in the search bar, you're going to type in my name, so Credence Baker, and click on it. And you're going to want to click on Add to Circles, and um, you can add me to any of the pre-configured um, circles uh, following, or you can create a new circle for our Tarleton Oak if you'd like to do that. Um, and add me to it, but definitely add me to at least one circle so that you can see my, uh, my invitation to your team's community. Alright, so now that I'm added to your circle, um, you can click back on um, Plus John, and you can see right on your home page that you have a chance to preview the community that I've invited you to. Um, so you can click preview community or you can roll over here over the home and click on communities and you'll see the invitation um, here and you can click on it. Once you click on that you'll click on accept invitation and it's going to take you into your team's community page and so you can see here um, I've already posted the very first post and you can read that, it just has the prompt that you're supposed to respond to. Um, and when you're ready to respond, you're gonna click here where it says share what's new. And you'll be able to type in your response here. Um, a neat thing about Google Plus is that you can share things like photos, links, videos, and events very easily along with your text. So for instance, if you have a photo you wanna share, um, you can upload it straight from your computer. And so John Tarleton wants to share something Tarleton related and he's going to share the block T um, with, with his post. Um, and you can continue writing your text here and share that. So you can share text with photo. Um, another thing that you can do in the share option, so if I were to share some more here, is to add video. And you can add a YouTube video that you've um, found or a video out on the web. But this is the neat option. You can record video straight from your computer. So um, it will ask you to, to allow um, Adobe Flash and you can say OK on that. But if you have a webcam, you'll actually be able to record a video right here um, from this page. Um, also, you can upload a video if you create one. Um, you can upload it from your computer. So lots of options on video sharing. And I'll have to tell you, um, last year this was probably the richest way that students were able to share with one another. So not only just the text responses to the prompts, but resources that they find related to the prompts um, and photos. And so um, I'll, I'll definitely ask you as we kind of delve into Google Plus, you know, at least at some point uh, during the five weeks we have together to use some of these photo link or video options along with your text-based post. Now one other thing I'm going to mention um, in case you run into trouble is if for some reason you don't see an invite for me anywhere um, on Google Plus or through your notifications bell, um, you can always get to it by clicking on Gmail and clicking on the social tab and you'll see um, a invitation from me to the, the learning community. So you can click right there on that link and join the community um, through your Gmail uh, account. So if for some reason you don't see an invite, it could very well be my mistake. So be sure you call the help desk. Um, they're going to escalate your call either to me or one of my support leads and we'll make sure that we get you into the right community and that you can um, find the invite. Um, so that's it with regard to your Google Plus community, and I look forward to seeing your interactions there.